Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Rye Read the Writer, back for another video. Okay, let's talk about California in the city. Going, going, back, back to Cali, Cali. I'm going, going, back. Okay. So California has failed a spending audit. Basically what it is, is um, they were tracking California's, they were trying to track California's spending on the homeless. Uh, comes to find out that we, not as mean you, but we um, have not been able to find out where $24 billion worth of spending um, has gone. So this is basically just like aimed towards the homeless. So yeah, we, we, we have no idea where our money has gone towards combating homelessness in California. Surprise, 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 surprise. There is such a huge homeless crisis here in California. I was recently at LAX, probably about what, two days ago. That's when I was coming home from um, Japan. And the amount of homelessness that is so, is, it, it's just, the amount of homelessness that has surged around the LAX is disastrous. It is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. And it continues to get worse and worse. But we have such a huge homeless crisis out here in California. We have it in the Bay. We have it in the cities in LA, LA County. Uh, it's spreading out to San Bernardino. It's been out there, but Riverside County, Fontana, Ontario, Montclair. By the beaches, Santa Barbara. It's just, there's so much homeless out here. And it's really bad. And the, the worst part is, is that the homeless, they are running rampant out here in this state. They have free room reign. Um, you, you can see them at an airport. They're in front of your local grocery store. Um, they're at parks. <laughs> they're in front of your libraries. They're in front of movie theaters now. They're in front of all your gas stations. Um, they're sitting and camping right by freeways, at major intersections, they're everywhere. Um, I was recently, not too long ago, I was in San Diego, um, towards like the metro area, and it looked like a zombie attack, apocalypse had happened down in San Diego. There were, I'm not even lying to you guys, the entire street where the metro train was at, that whole lead up to the metro train, the entire area had been overconsumed with homelessness. People sleeping in bushes, people urinating, uh, people masturbating in public. I saw a young woman, uh, completely bare boned. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Roaming the streets, walking around. Um, open drugs, open um, feces, urinating in the public, sleeping on the sidewalks. It's, it's something else. And I had always wondered to myself as well that here in this state, we've pushed that we are tackling homelessness, right? It's been such a push. And I've noticed that over the years, it's gotten continuously worse. But knowing that California within itself has lost or is not able to take account for missing 24 billion dollars it does not surprise me so I, I found this article it's by cal matters and i'm telling you guys i'm surprised no one has gone to jail there's no consequences no one's looking at gavin newsom crazy there's no protesting in the streets we as californians we we just lost 24 billion dollars and we're okay with that like, there's no fussing, there's no arguments, no one's upset. It's just it's just another day of corruption here in California. And I hate to say that, but it's like, C for California actually stands for corruption. <laughs> That's really what's happening. 
So let me read the article. It goes, California failed to track its homeless spending or results, a new audit says. Um, so it goes, um, exactly how much is California spending to combat homelessness? And is it working? It's clearly not working. It's actually getting progressively worse. If it were working, we would see results. And that's how you have to just sum things up, you guys. You, you, you can't make the basis of, oh, I feel like it's getting better. Um, I believe it's getting better. I'm wishing for the best. Um, you know, I love when people talk about it. No, no, no. We're, we're done with the ages of talking and speaking and political theater and showcasing emotions and getting on podiums and trying to validate these experiences and show understanding. The truth of the matter is, is homelessness is getting worse and worse in California. It is not getting better. The system that they do have is not working, right? You gotta ask yourself, why aren't these things working? But knowing that $24 billion is missing, <laughs> that maybe maybe that's also one of the reasons. Okay, so it turns out no one knows. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if I worked at my job, and because uh, I, I work with cars, if I worked at my job, and I, I do marketing too, but if I worked at my job, and if someone gave me a pair of keys to a truck, it is my responsibility to give those keys to the next responder. That's my directive for the day. It's my job, it's my responsibility to take care of this product, this item that's mine, that's underneath me. I'm responsible for that. And it's my job, my due diligence to ensure that this thing gets delivered and is protected and is in the same great condition if i lost a car i'm going to jail right i'm going to prison i'm going to get fired i you know I, i'm gonna get I, I'm, I'm going to get um basically just you know probed as being a, a theft thief here oh turns out no one knows nobody knows <laughs> like it's insane out here in california Nobody's talking about this. That's and that's one of the reasons why I want to do this story. Nobody's talking about this. It's the weirdest thing. It's like things can just happen and no one talks about it. So the results of a much anticipated statewide audit released on Tuesday, which calls into question the state's ability to track and analyze its spending on homelessness services. The state doesn't have a current information on the ongoing costs and results of the homelessness programs because the agency tasked with gathering the data, uh, the California Intra-Agency Council on Homelessness has analyzed no spending past 2021. So we have no idea where the money is going and we haven't known since 2021. It is 2024. It's 2024. And we have no idea where this money has gone or where it's at or whose pockets it's in or whose bank account has gone to or who's who's been dilled and swindled and given that money. We have no clue. Like, as, as far as I'm concerned, someone could have just took a million dollars and put it in their bank account. I mean, that those things happen. Those things happen. Someone could have just... Oh, I'm going to take $100,000 and buy a Mercedes. Okay. I'm going to take $2, two billion, hide it in a offshore account. Who knows? Who, who knows? I'm going to hire people to work at this facility that is going to combat homelessness. I'm going to pay each of the employees there supposedly outrageous uh fees or you know wages right like uh, you you can be a uh, contracted uh, bodyguard just you know watching the facility for the day and I, on the books it says that i paid you five thousand dollars per day in reality i paid you maybe twenty twenty dollars per hour but who knows who's checking nobody knows 
they, they could have just gave me some money at this point. Like, it's, it's my tax money, honestly. <laughs> it's, we're just, oh, nobody knows. It's just, that's California, just missing money. Uh, dang, since 2021, three of the five state programs the audit analyzed, including the state's main homeless funding source, didn't even produce enough data for parks to determine whether they were effective or not. So not only do we not know where the money's at, we have no clue where it's went or what it was spent to. It's gone. It's gone. Hey, it's the money is gone. And also, we don't even know if it was effective or not. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's fantastic. Fantastic. Go. Yes, bien. Yes, yeah, just missing, just missing pesos. Perfecto. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, señor. <laughs> The audit also analyzed homeless services in San Jose and San Diego. And I was just talking about San Diego. San Diego is incredibly dirty. Not all of it, but there's some areas that are very filthy. Where I was at in the metro area, it looked like a wasteland. It looked like I was in a video game. And I was unprepared because I had no weapons. That's what it looked like. People were screaming. People were on drugs. People were selling drugs. People were willing and dealing. Everybody got a dog. You're homeless. You got a dog. And it's just happening in broad daylight. This wasn't even like the nighttime activities, you know, demon time. This was uh, during the day, during the morning. I I'm outside at 10 a.m. I, I go to work at 7, y'all. I'm outside like at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Open drugs. It's just there. Finding both cities fail to thoroughly account for their spending or measures of success of their main programs. The lack of transparency in our current approach to homelessness is pretty frightening, said the assembly member Josh Hoover. I'm glad he said that, but like I said, we're, we're done with the days of going, that looks kind of bad. Man, I'm nervous. <laughs> Man, losing $24 billion? Oh, oh that's frightening. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. Something bad happens. I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about that? Like, what is anyone gonna do about any of this? I'm gonna start saying that for now on. It looks frightening. Uh, that means state policymakers have little data to go on when they make funding decisions related to what has become one of California's most dire challenges. Well, it's, it's a dire challenge because homelessness is a multi-layered problem. And um, here in the state, we aren't necessarily helping that. And, you know, this is just me just saying it. This is just my own opinion. But um, I think there's multiple ways to combat homelessness. And I think the first things first is checking to see where all this money is going. If we're, if we're being really honest, if we're going straight to the point, is we have to check where this money is going. Then I would also say we have to be tougher on our laws here in California. If you are an addict, if you are addicted to cocaine, uh, trach, trank, trank, here we go, cocaine, meth, and you're openly injecting yourself with these drugs, uh, you're being openly sold these drugs during broad daylight. And I've seen this multiple times in California, multiple times have I seen weed, drugs, alcohol, packages, whatever, you name it, just being sold on the street just because I'm walking around. We have to get harder on our laws here. And we have to start holding people, even if you are homeless, accountable. Uh, then we also have to also take into account that the homelessness crisis is also a mental health crisis that we have here on the streets. Um, I know back in the day, back in the 80s, we had mental health facilities. Some of those were run really badly, but during the Reagan era, era a lot of those, majority of those were um, completely dismantled. So we, we have a homeless issue. We have, um, on top of that, I'm going to say immigration issue, because a lot of people who are on the streets are also immigrants. A lot of women, a lot of prostitution, a lot of children on the streets as well. We have an issue with drugs here in California. We have an issue with um, a lot of the people who are on the streets 
even though they are on drugs, a lot of these people want to be on the streets. So we also are combating people who don't no longer want to fit in society. So it's also an issue. These people have, you know, whatever issues, there are reasons why they left their homes and chose California. Um, but we're also feeding the problem. I'm just saying, if you're homeless here in California and we're giving you EBT cards and we're providing you with food and we're giving you, look it up on your guys' own. And we're providing you with needles to inject yourself with drugs. Like, we actually put money into that out here. We put money into giving drug addicts needles so they can have clean dope overdoses. <laughs> That's what's happening. You know, we have to take also responsibility for what we're doing to enable the issue. The issue is never going to be tackled here in the state until we actually get firm with it. And start addressing those things. And also with homelessness, it's um, it's also an issue with uh, finances. Living in California is extremely expensive. So we have a lot of people who are part of the working poor, the working homeless who have jobs, who are living in their cars, living in the streets. Like nobody wants to talk about those things. So it's a multi-layered issue that's going on. At the end of the day, we put $24 billion into um, this issue and we cannot figure out where this money went. And the truth is, they know where this money went. They don't need an audit for that. They know those who are in charge of allocating where the money was going. They know, you guys can do your own research on, you know, whatever you want. But those who are in charge of allocating the money who are in charge of distributing it to different entities and different programs they know exactly where the money's at they know exactly where the money is went but if you if you really want to do some deep diving you'll find out that a lot of these politicians and no offense to Gavin Newsom they're all in cahoots with each other like you you you'll be very surprised to find out that like say um like a senator or a congressperson or a mayor representative, they'll be given money. Kind of find out they're actually friends or cousins or married to somebody who's actually in charge of um, dispersing that money. It, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it purely is. It's just, this is just like, to me, this is just a scheme, a scam. People don't want to look at it like that. I do. Because I just, like, I get it. I'm not mad at it. I get it. And... If you can get away with it, you're going to get away with it. And this is exactly what happened. They they got away with it. You know, you can put people in chairs and find scapegoats to, you know, put on a chair on a panel and try to explain themselves, embarrass themselves, you know, in front of um, the public and the media. But we, we know who lost the money. This, this isn't like uncommon news. They, they know where the money's at. So t the article goes, tens of billions of dollars, nine agencies, and, and more than 30 programs. All we need to do to find out where this money went is to investigate the nine agencies. Those who are in charge of the nine agencies, book them. <laughs> like, that's it. If, if in this state, because I, can, I can't speak for the rest of the other states, but in this state, if we held people accountable, we would start seeing less crime and corruption at the top that's simply it if your responsibility was to mandate this 20 billion dollars and you did a poor job of it you go to prison it should be like that you should you should go to prison for 20 years it should be easy if we find out that you took any money you're going to prison for 20 years it should be high punishments that should be it so that's what I'm saying. I, I appreciate this article. I'm going to read more of it, but it's just, we, we know already know what to do. But the point is, is in this state, are we going to do the tough job? And that really comes down to the people. Are we going to hold these people accountable? And that truly just comes down to um, us coming together and pushing for change. Okay, okay. So it goes, uh, as homelessness crisis has intensified, California governor... Uh, California, under Governor Gavin Newsom's leadership, allocated an unprecedented $24 billion to address homelessness in housing during the last five fiscal years, according to the Legislative Analysis Office. So, yeah. 
yeah, I, I'm going to hold Gavin Newsom um, responsible for this. This is him. He allocated this $24 billion. And if he's quick to say, like, it's not me, it's the people I've hired, it is you. Because you're in a leadership position. This is you. California is a representation of your actions and policies. When you move, we move. Right? If we're losing money, you, it was your responsibility. You gave it out. At the end of the day, and you have to take accountability for that. So I, I just, you know, and I'm looking at Gavin Newsom too. I'm going, man, brother, what are you doing? But you know what you're doing. Man, yeah, it's just, man, the corruption is insane. I'm going to have to write a book about this. Not in terms of this, but like, I, you know, I might have to write a book about corruption at this point. Because it's, it's just so easy to get away with here. Um, nine state agencies administered more than 30 programs aimed to preventing or reducing homelessness. Some of those programs did such a poor job tracking their outcomes that it's impossible to tell that if they've been successful. According to the audit, they haven't been successful, which marks the first such large scale accounting of the, uh, there's a little fly in here, of the county of the state's homeless spending. The report evaluated five state homeless programs and found two likely are cost effective. So out of the nine, there's two. Gavin Newsom's signature home key program, and this is his program, help cities and country, uh, counties turn hotels and other buildings into homeless housings at an average cost of, check this, $144,000 per unit. $144,000 per unit. Compared to the $380,000 to half a million it would cost for new construction. The CalWORKs Housing Program, Support Program, which gives financial help to families who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless also saves the money, state money, because it's much cheaper to help someone stay housed than it is to help them find housing once they become homeless. But is this really taking account for the homelessness? And, and this is where I want to give you guys a very old proverb. If you give a man a fish, he'll be hungry. But if you teach a man how to fish, He'll never starve. And what I mean by all that is to say that I do appreciate the housing for the homeless and feeding them and whatever else they're doing for them. But are we truly addressing why these people are homeless? I know homelessness is it's a different case for every single person. But $144,000 per unit then compared to us uh, spending half a million dollars for new construction, we are bleeding ourselves dry here in California. And it's so sad because the taxpayer is funding this, this ongoing crisis that seems to never have an ending. The auditor found that in CalWORKs program spent an average of $12,000 to $22,000 per household. While a single chronically homeless person can cost taxpayers as much as $50,000 per year. Some people don't even make that in a year. But for three other programs, the state has collected enough data for the auditor to make an assessment. Ugh. So it just goes on and on about that. But fundamentally, the audit depicts a bit of data um, dessert. Uh, says uh, Dave Cortez, a Democrat from Santa Clara County who joined Hoover in asking for the audit, said during a media call. Yeah. So he goes, uh, for example, nearly one third of the people who left placements funded by the Homeless Housing Assistance and Prevention Program left for unknown destinations, according to the auditor's analysis of Round 1 funding in Los Angeles, San Diego. Santa Clara and San Francisco counties. That ambiguous data makes it impossible to tell that if the program has been successful, the auditor wrote, even so the state authorized billions of dollars for four additional rounds of funding. Yeah, and I love this. Uh, Josh Hoover said he's a Republican. 
He said the lack of transparency in our current approach to homelessness is pretty frightening. And it is. It really is. Uh, there's also one thing I want to point out here on this article. Let me see if I can find it. So I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to put it down below in the description box. I want you guys to read it. I just really wanted to bring this to your attention that um, California has lost $24 billion. Oh, here we go. And both cities failed to consistently evaluate whether the homeless services, nonprofits, they contract, which are efficiently spending city funds. In San Diego, for example, a 1.6 million shelter contract did not specify how many people should be served, making it impossible to tell that the program has been successful. Even when the cities required performance metrics from, the con from their contractors, they sometimes failed to collect them. So this is just an ongoing problem. We're building things, $1.6 million shelter. We don't specify how many people are actually going to be in it um, or to tell if the program has been successful once it is erected. And we have no metrics for anything. So we're just throwing money to the wind. And it says a shelter provided in San Diego contracted with had a goal of getting 26% of the people who left the shelter into permanent housing. Instead, about 6% went into permanent housing, even though the provider fell far short of its goal. The auditor found no evidence the city took steps to analyze the contract's effectiveness. And that basically just states that we are paying shelters, we're paying programs, we're paying assistant programs. We're giving them hundreds of millions of dollars to start a program. They're coming to us with estimate, estimates and guesstimations of what this program will actually do and how effective it is. Once the program is been commenced and is actually working, we soon to find out that the program is actually a failure. That the goal is to get 26% of people um, who left the shelter back into permanent housing, and we're only actually getting 6%. So that says a lot about the people. The people who are homeless want to be homeless. They want to be on the streets. They want to continue doing drugs. Whatever is out in the streets is better for them in the homes. But what's also going in the homes? Because the article also talks about how um, in one shelter, there was only 300 beds, but there's a thousand people in there. What's the conditions of these shelters? What are the foods? What are the beds like? How are the people being treated? How are they um, being actually helped? What's the therapy? We don't know. We, we don't even have the data for any of this. All we know is that we're pouring money into this problem and money is gone missing. Money is going into programs and the programs are actually failing. They're not proving to be successful. Hmm. Sad. This is um, sad. Oh, here's another one. San Jose and San Diego have similar estimate, uh, estimated homeless populations. So it goes from 6,340 and 6,500 respectively. But San Diego has 4,000 emergency shelters and temporary housing beds, while San Jose is just 2,500 according to the report. So it goes, both cities are taking steps to reduce the health and safety risks associated with homeless encampments by providing trash pickups, toilets. I've seen that. I'm actually, I've seen the, the pickups because I live out towards San Bernardino and um, I've actually been in LA when they're doing um, street cleanups for the homeless. I actually got to see one of those live. And it's actually pretty sad watching some of the homeless people lose their things because they just, they're homeless. They just have nowhere to take their things. So their things just get thrown in the trash. Um, toilets, showers, medicine, and other services. In San Jose, the budget for those services increased from um, 12.7 from the fiscal year of 2021 to 19 million last year. So it's gone up. In San Diego, it grew from 32 million to 43 million. But neither city is doing a good job of evaluating the outcomes of those efforts, according to the audit. Because like I said, homelessness is a multi-layered issue. And it's a multi-layered issue because you're dealing with humans. And each human has their own specific crisis that they're enduring. 
But as we do know that the money that we are, our taxes are going in towards this, these cities and these programs aren't effective. So something is not working. This None of this is working. And what is the solution? I'm not all the way sure. I'm not quite all the way 100% sure how we would solve homelessness. I have ideas. I'm pretty sure many other people have ideas, but the way we're going, the trajectory, it, it's not working. So we, we would have to change that. Something has to change. You know, something would have to change. But um, like I mentioned before, I think the open air drugs has to stop. Um, defecating in the public has to be stopped. Um, open air prostitution, because a lot of those people who are prostituting are children, men and women, children, boys and girls. I've seen it before. The immigration crisis has brought in a lot of that prostitution from over the border as well. People don't like to talk about it, but that's, that's just what it is. It's, this is what I'm seeing. And you can tell. It's just, it's out in the open. But it, it's getting out of control, and it's been out of control. But yeah, this is just sad. It's just, it's sad. So I don't, I don't really know what California, per se, is going to do. Um, I hope they do come up with a solution. The money is gone. $24 billion is down the drain. Those who were in charge of this problem should definitely be reprimanded, should definitely be held. I know they're not going to do that, but um, if it were my my way, I would I would hold them very much accountable. Be pressing charges and um, seeing where this money is going, checking bank accounts, checking statements, checking offshore accounts, tracking money. What you got to do? You got to track money. Um, and yeah, we basically just need new leaders. You know, I said in my other video, we just need California needs to be. Um, it, it just needs a reboot, a redo. And but those who are in charge now, they're not effective. <laughs> that's that's truly just what it is. Those who are in charge of California, especially over this crisis, it's not effective because it's not working. But yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. I'm just I don't know, you guys. I just be reading some of these articles. I just be like, <sighs> again. It's like literally every week I'll be like, California again, again. What are you guys doing now? Man, it's just so sad. But yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. Did you know that $20 billion is missing? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the homeless crisis um, going on in California? Do you live in California? Have you witnessed it? How does it look where you live? Because um, where I live out towards like the valley, it's bad in San Bernardino. There is a lot of homelessness right by the freeways and the streets it's it really is the whole city is zombieville especially in the downtown san Bernardino. there are homeless screaming on drugs masturbating naked you know just walking around the open prostitution's bad they're sleeping everywhere there's been uh there's tents everywhere there's graffiti, there's grime all over the sidewalks and side buildings. There's buildings in LA that have caught in fire because of the homelessness, because they're trying to stay warm at night. You know, tell me what you've seen out there. Yeah, tell me your thoughts on this. How do you feel about um the missing money? But yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. I'm trying to stay quick with it. I'm trying to get a little bit better. I got home from work and I was like, oh, let me... Let me not breathe. Let me just drink some juice and come out here and start filming. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys for the next video. Stay tuned, okay?